What's up everyone? Today I'm back with another video and I'd like to discuss refeeding. Refeeding is the process of reintroducing food to the body after a long period of malnourishment or starvation. And it is something that all recovering anorexics will have to go through. This can be an extremely emotional time because you have to prepare to do the opposite of what you've been not doing for so long, which is eating. Psychologically, this is one of the hardest parts of refeeding because you have to constantly remind yourself to eat and constantly think about eating when you're used to not doing this. Another psychological struggle you will face will be any bloating and water retention that your body's going to inevitably have because you're eating more and you're probably eating different foods than the foods that you're used to eating. And this is a problem that's gonna happen with any change in diet. The water retention is going to make you appear larger and it'll probably make your weight change pretty much immediately. Of course, these things are only temporary because your body's just trying to adjust to your new habits and lifestyle. But emotionally, this is going to be a lot to deal with because during your anorexia, you probably weighed yourself constantly and, you're, and you became very aware of your body. So to see these changes so drastic and so immediate is going to take a toll. If you're familiar with my story, then you'll know that during my recovery process and this time, I vowed to not weigh myself and not look at myself too closely because I knew that these things were going to happen and I didn't want that to trigger me to relapse. But I also really believed in practicing mindfulness and trying to learn to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full and regain these signals that I had been ignoring for so long. And then eventually your body will adjust. It's always going to adjust to your new changes. And then once I felt comfortable, I looked at myself again and the changes weren't as drastic as they would have been if I had looked at myself initially, initially once I started refeeding. Those are just some of the emotional side effects of refeeding, but there's also physical side effects. I mentioned bloating before, and it's not only an emotional side effect, but also a physical one because your body is actually holding on to water. And chances are, if you had been malnourished or in a state of starvation for a long time, your body didn't have a lot of water retention at all. So this change of going from not retaining any water to retaining water is actually going to make your body stretch a little bit. And then also the fact that you're going to have to be pushing yourself to eat when you are not hungry and eat more at mealtimes than you are used to means your stomach is going to stretch and you're gonna feel those pains that you feel when you're overstuffed or full, extra full. And this is gonna be uncomfortable. On a few occasions for me, my stomach was in so much pain that I would have to curl up into a ball and rub it. And sometimes I got to the point of getting sick because physically my stomach could not stretch anymore. There are also more serious physical complications that come with refeeding like shifts in electrolytes. Electrolytes are minerals that carry an electric charge when dissolved in a liquid such as your blood and they carry out vital functions like metabolizing food and regulating your body's fluid levels. They also regulate nerve and muscle function and a lot of other things. For the average person, your body actively moves electrolytes in and out of cells to keep a normal, healthy electrolyte balance. For a food deprived body, however, nutrients are metabolized differently and any changes in a severely nutritionally deprived body can deplete and change your body's natural electrolyte stores. According to healthline.com, one of the most common electrolyte complications during refeeding is hypophosphatemia, which is low phosphate. There are also others like thymine deficiency and abnormal sodium and fluid levels, also hypomagnesima, which is low magnesium, and hypokalemia, which is low potassium. There are also other general physical side effects of refeeding like fatigue, weakness, confusion, inability to breathe, high blood pressure, seizures, heart arrhythmias, heart failure, coma, and death. Which I was reading those all off of the list off healthline.com because they have to list all possible things that could happen in any scenario. I know that these sound daunting, but these issues are minimized if you are seeking treatment 
that is observed by a medical professional. Recovery is a battle and just like any challenge you'll go through in life, there are going to be physical and emotional hurdles that you'll have to overcome. But recovery is one of the most significant battles you will ever fight because there's nothing more important than your life and your quality of life and your health. I think it's not only important to raise awareness about eating disorders, but also about the recovery processes. I hope that sharing my experiences helped you guys who might be going through this or are going to go through this, and also people who are just looking to learn more about this. And I hope to keep creating content like this, so please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button if you want to get updates every week when I release a new video. Thank you for watching.